Hello everybody, we are back with some more Eternal. We're going to try and finish up the gauntlet we started last time. So let's hop right into the next game. See if we can get all four matches remaining done in this video. Mm, this hand should not keep it. Just too much, too many sigils. Uh, ugh. This hand doesn't do anything for a very long time. Which could prove rough. Hopefully our opponent doesn't do anything crazy fast. And on turn four, at the very least, we can start stunning his units. Oh, that was a good draw, I guess. Looks like our opponent's not doing much either, though. When it attacks, if the top card of your deck is a spell, draw it. I think I would like to stun that one permanently. Actually, let's play the mage. Make the tempo play here, and the next turn we can stun and start attacking. So he just replays it. Well, let's attack right away, because I'm happy with the trade here. That is what I thought. So I can copy what? Let's copy my 5 drop, and then I can play the 3 drop that stuns. Alright, 5 damage to a flying unit. Okay, so he's going to get control of his guy back. Ooh, he has to attack with it this turn too. That's rough. So he's going to have to draw a card there. Two two unblockable. So if I play this, I can play Thunderstrike Dragon next turn. Or I could just drop my big guys. I think I'm fine with just dropping my big guys. Oh, he's going to block that, really. That's a surprise. Alright, let's play our blocker. Ooh, turn it into a frog. No blocks. Oh, I don't have three. Okay. So we drop this guy. I don't have three, uh, three blue available. He's gonna stun it. He's getting to draw some cards off this guy, which is a little bit scary. He has another one. So I think I... Drop this. I make a copy of this. And end the turn there. Flying an Aegis, okay. Alright, we got the blue, we can drop. Start dropping these guys. So, he could double trade with both of these, which I'm okay with. He's going to do it for one. Sounds good. And we can drop a big blocker. Yep, stun it. Okay, so he gets in for some damages. That is fine. So we get in for some damages back. He's just gonna block. Ah, I can finish it off. Okay. Good play. We'll drop another big dragon though. And our opponent is out of cards. And we are not. He did not block. Interesting choice. So he's dead next turn. And I think he just has another sigil in hand. Attack with everything. Alright, got another win. 
This deck is doing good things for us. Alright, three more to go. Looks like we've got three chests as our prize so far. Chaotic Rage. Hmm. Bit of an aggro deck, maybe? Sand should be okay against an aggro deck, I think. I want to draw another Time Sigil, though. Oh, there you go. Let's play that and pass, and see what he has. 2-2, two, two, Lifesteal for 2. Not bad. So I think I actually want to copy... Mm, oh wait, this isn't the copy spell. Just kidding. Okay. I thought that was the one that makes a copy of something in my hand. I'm thinking about copying this guy, but it should be fine. Alright. Stun it. What you got? Kill it. Alright, so he's gonna get in for two more. Hmm. Not gonna do that this turn, because I want to play this guy. So I need to use the untapped power, so to speak. Or undepleted, I guess, is the word. Kill an enemy attachment. Don't got any of those, so we should be good. When you reach 5 power before playing this, okay. I should have played the blue white one last turn so I could drop this guy and then the tapped mana. A little bit rough. Yeah, so we'll do this. We'll drop that. And put that guy back to his hand, and he can attack for three. And the turn. Two damage, okay. And replay the other guy, yep. Sounds good. So you can go tap Sigil this time around. And we'll drop our 5-5 five, five, Rhinoch. Rhinark. And I'll attack here. Happily make that trade, I think. Alright, what you got? He's got two cards in hand. That's not particularly intimidating at this point in the game. So, let's go here, give it flying, and then let's also give it endurance. So now it can attack and block each turn. And then we'll play this guy too, draw a time sigil. Cool. So now they can't block it, and it can block them. Might not be right to do both of those on him, but it seemed okay. Draw a copy of a unit in your hand. Well, we're empty-handed now. I guess that's the downside to this card, huh? Well, we should be okay, though, at this point. 7-7, seven, seven, Overwhelm, Flying, Endurance, Beater. Deals double damage to players. Okay. Well, we got the win next turn. Yep, that should do it. Good game. Alright, another win. Is that two more we have left to do? Alright, let's hop into it. We're at nine minutes, so... This pace continues. Should be in good shape.
as far as fitting everything in this video goes. Uh, this is not the greatest hand, but we'll keep it. We don't have any of our early drops. And then just do another sigil, so hopefully this isn't an aggro deck. Mm, ouch. That it would be what I would consider aggro. Ooh, that's a good draw. Oh, we already had one of those. Okay, so we were fine. Kill it. Alright, I'll we'll probably just kill that guy too. Actually, you just let him attack with it. It'll blow his infiltration. So he can't get that ability anymore. And he didn't get to kill a unit with it. And now we can just drop this guy. And stun that, I guess. Alright, what does that do? Oh, it's a one time. Okay, I gotcha. Makes a 2 2 fire when it attacks. Let us go this route. Give it flying, make it a 4 4. This thing still has that icon on it. Does that mean it still has infiltrate? Yes. So it didn't proc its infiltrate last turn. Interesting. I thought it would have, even though it already attacked me once. He should 100% be attacking here. Just saying. I can't play that. I play this. And I pass. What has he got? Nothing again. Alright, so that gives us the blue we need to play you, which means you can attack now. And if they want to double block and kill it, it's fine with me. They're not going to. Good stuff. This guy's not being as aggressive as he should be. Um, let's give him Endurance. And attack with both. So now he's probably gonna double block. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just drop another dragon. Good stuff. Attack with both. And he is dead next turn. Yeah, he... I feel like he should definitely be trying to proc these infiltrate abilities. I mean, it's too late now, but he should have been earlier. Alright, good game. Another quick one in the books. And it looks like this is the last episode, or the last, the last fight in the gauntlet. Let's 
the uh, spy master. You just can infiltrate any number of times. Oh, that sounds really good. Um, okay. Pretty good. We'll grab that. What you got? Nothing? Works with me. I got a something. Nope. I do not have a something. Um, let's grab another primal, I guess. Alright, well he's not bashing me with infiltrators yet, so that's a good sign. Mm, I will let that one hit me. Ooh, he's got two of them. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to turn to frog those, so... Oh, that was a good draw. Now I stun one and can block the other. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, nope, he gets to stun me, so he's going to get in and draw a card here. Alright. I gotta just drop my big, big guy. Dinosaur. Towering Terrazon. Flying and reckless, so it has to attack every turn. I can just block with this dude, though. Alright, and I could try and make him... He'd have to double block, so I'd kill both of those. Sure, sounds good to me. He's he's gonna do that. All right, all right. I'm I'm okay with this. Now he just got two one ones. Infiltrate. Ah, oh, this was that card we got in one of our packs recently. Play five random enemy unit units from the enemy void. Ah, okay. I see how you benefit from putting creatures into my graveyard then. So let's stun that, and I can attack with both of these. This one lets me draw a card, get the damage in, and I can play that guy. It's got another one of the Reckless Flyers. Desperado. So if I attack with this guy, he double blocks, and I draw a card. Um, this thing can trade with that, this thing can block that. Alright, we'll attack with both. This thing is only stunned, so I'm going to have to turn it to a frog at some point. Okay, so he's going to do all the blocking and trading. I'll play this guy. And this guy's going to be unstunned, so let's make him a frog. Because we're not going to be able to block him. Not effectively, anyways. Not too scared of that one. Uh, yeah, we'll attack with both of these. So he's gonna trade. Alright, let's draw some good cards. That qualifies. And the turn. What you got? What you got? Sigil. And. Alright, a 2 2. Not bad. Attack with both. And the turn, and we will block him here. Because we don't really care about that guy at all. Uh, 
Alright. Now it gets a little trickier. It's gonna become a 4 4. I think I don't even care. Let's just keep bashing. Because the 4 4 still can't trade with this. Might as well keep this guy stunned. Not that it really matters at this point. Ooh, that was a very good draw. Let's attack. We get to play both of them this turn. That is fantastic. So he's dead. And he's dead in the air. Attack with all the things. Exaxes. Alright, so I guess that's it. We just win the gauntlet with that? Yep, there's the uh, quest complete. You've earned a free forge. So forge, I think, is like kind of like drafting, I guess. I don't know. Got all these chests. Let's claim the rewards. Um, let's uh, let's open them. Start start over here. Got a fancy chest inside of our chest. Ooh, nice. We got a pack and five hundred more gold. Pretty sweet. Got 200 gold and a 4 mana 2-2 two, two flyer. When you summon it, give enemy unit minus 2 attack. Eh, it seems okay. Not crazy good. Oh, we got another pack. Not bad. You've reached bronze in the gauntlet league. Cool. Alright, so let us open these packs. See what we got. Let's see, another one of the mana things that becomes a 5-5 late in the game. Play a unit with cost 4 or less from the void, it gets charged flying, sacrifice it in the turn, okay, cool. Another gate, or banner I guess is what they're called in this game. Flying life steal Aegis, mm, seems pretty bad. Enemy unit minus 6 attack this turn, mm, seems uninteresting. It's only one mana though, so it's a good combat trick probably. Uh, Sure, haven't seen many attachments, but okay. Um, one of the strangers. Eh, this one seems fine. Playable in the green red deck. 1 1 for 1. Every time you play power, it becomes 3. It seems like a really good aggro card. Right, you play this on turn 1, turn 2, play another power, swing for 3. And I mean, if you're staying on curve, you should be swinging for 3 every turn with it, so it seems pretty good. 1 mana with Warcry. It's probably. Pretty good. Warcry we've seen get out of control. Um, sure. Nothing exciting, and plus one attack while you have a unit in the void. So it's just a two mana, two one. If you have a dead guy. Alright, so this card seems crap. Oh, right. Look at our, our rare. Another channel of the Tempest. So we have three of those now. Alright, and let's see. Five mana, four four. It gives me four armor. That doesn't seem too bad. 3-3 three, three, fire with killer. Uh, we've played with this a little bit. It's okay, but 3 attack and 3 life isn't great for killer, I don't think. Um, instant speed, 3 damage. Seems good. 4 mana, 2-5 with endurance and charge. This seems okay. You can attack with it every turn, but like it seems pretty easy to block. Draw the top card of the enemy deck. I mean... I don't think I would ever play this card because it's not good if your enemy's in all different colors, for starters. And for a second, like, just playing one mana drawing or like a random card, you don't know what it is. Uh, this is a fine tempo spell. Kind of like it. Maybe I should be playing that in my deck, actually, for some early game help. I don't know. Uh, levitate, we've seen. 5 2, sure. Summon, give you a flying. Okay, I think we've seen a couple of those. Give an enemy unit minus two minus two and it dies, right? I think we opened one of those already. And draw a unit from the void, you get plus one plus one. And that card I like. Alright, cool. Oh, right. Green, white, four mana, four, four with Overwhelm and Aegis. Not bad. It doesn't seem like crazy good, but not bad. Alright, well, we'll end this episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the game again. And I will see you next time. Like, subscribe, etc. Bye, guys.